Hi everyone, my name is Kristen. I am a certified fitness instructor and I'm an occupational therapist. Today I have for you a 20 minute core interval workout. It consists of three circuits of three exercises each. Each circuit we're gonna do two times through and we'll do 45 seconds on, 15 second rest and after each circuit there'll be a one minute break in between. Each circuit contains a, what I call a crunch exercise, a plank exercise, and an exercise for our back so that we can alternate between different parts of our core and uh, keep going. If it's your first time working out, just do what you can. You can shorten your intervals that you do. You don't need to do the full 45 seconds. Take breaks when you need to and then join back in when you can. Um, it is a no uh, equipment workout, but it would be good to have a soft surface nearby, either a mat or a uh, towel on the ground. And with that, I invite you to make some space around you, grab your water, and let's get moving. Okay, so before we get started, if you haven't done a warm up or another workout before this, now's the time to hit pause, go up and down your stairs, walk around your apartment, do some jumping jacks, and join me back in three to five minutes when you've got your heart rate up and your blood flow flowing to those muscles that are gonna work so hard. First exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna be on our backs, feet up near the hips. We're gonna do half of a crunch, touch one foot, come to the center, Touch the other foot, center, and come down. Ready? Let's go. Crunch. Tap the foot, center. Tap the other foot, center, and come down. Crunch. Tap, center, tap, center, and down. If you want a challenge, you could just stay up here in this crunch and go side to side. You want to hold the belly button in to the center, into you towards your spine and at any point if you need a tiny release when you get to the center you come down and crunch up again important here that you go slow and controlled we're not using momentum to go side by side that's why I want us to stop in the middle we're using those muscles all right we've got a 15 second break we're gonna flip over onto the onto our uh, into a plank position up on our hands so, hips should be just a little bit below those shoulders, and we're gonna, here we go, we're ready. We're gonna add on a knee to the opposite elbow. Slow and controlled again, knee coming across the body to the opposite elbow. Keep that head up in line with your spine, so don't let it hang down like this, up in line with the spine. And we're squeezing quadriceps, glutes, buttocks, and the abdominal muscles here to make sure we're one long line from feet up to our shoulders. If at any point you need a break, you come on your knees, keep engaging that core, and then join us back up on your feet when you can. Good work. Next up we have on our stomach an exercise for our upper back what I call rhomboid squeeze. So first we engage the core, pelvis into the ground, squeeze the upper body, lift and lower, let's go. Squeeze the muscles between the shoulder blades, lift the shoulders off the ground and slowly lower. Squeeze, lift and lower. But you should still have your lower abdominals engaged. It might push your pelvis into the, ground a little bit that's going to protect your lower back. You really want to think about the muscles that are squeezing between the shoulder blades here. Squeeze, lift and lower. Good work. We're going to repeat those three exercises one more time and then we'll have a one minute break. Let's go on our backs, feet near our hips, palms up, ready, crunch. Tap one side, center, other side, center, and down. Engage, tap, other side, 
and down. Once again, if you want to challenge, don't take that break and come down in the center. Keep your core engaged and just tap side to side. Keeping the belly button in. Good, and using the muscle, not momentum. So we're not swinging side to side fast. No, tap, stop, tap, stop. Slow and control. And relax. Flip over onto our front side for the plank knee cross. Maybe roll out your wrists a little bit. Ready? That bell's gonna ring. Let's go. So once again, remember, hips should be just a tiny bit, maybe an inch lower than those shoulders. If, you, if it's uncomfortable like that, you could do uh, hips up at the shoulders, but definitely not higher than the shoulders like this. No, hips down, one line from your feet to your head. Option would be to hold plank on the knees, like so. Still engaging that core. Get that head in line with the spine. There we go. And one more move before our break onto our stomachs. First thing first, engage the abdominal muscles and the glutes. And now, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the shoulders, and lower. Really focus on trying to get those shoulder blades as close as they can together, keeping them there while you gently lift your shoulders off the ground, and also controlling your way down. Don't just flop down on the ground, although it's tempting. <laughs> We're almost there. Four seconds. Good work. Let's relax in child's pose. We want to do this for each break. It really helps to release any tension that builds up in your lower back that can build up in your lower back during abdominal exercises and, and core workouts. So relax here. Take some deep breaths. And in a few seconds, I'm gonna show you the next exercise, but you can stay relaxing here in child's pose while you watch. So the first one is what I call a star sit up. If you've been doing workouts a while, you wanna make a star with your body and go opposite arm to foot, and we alternate. Option would be to bend the legs, bend the arms, and do shoulder to knee. So your levers, your weights, your arms and legs are shorter, it makes it easier. So you choose the option, we've got two seconds. Let's go. Up and touch. Good, once again, at any point, if you're finding this difficult or just doesn't work for you as an exercise, you can bend arms and legs. It looks like this, and shoulder to elbow. Sorry, that doesn't make sense. Shoulder to knee, yes. Good, really think about crunching those abs. Focus on the muscle that's working. All right, good work. We're gonna flip over into our plank position again. This time, instead of moving our legs, we're gonna move our arms. So we're gonna get in the plank position. For me, it helps if I have my feet a bit wider. I'm more stable now. We're gonna go and tap the opposite shoulder one at a time. Trying not to let our hips or shoulders move side to side or drop while we do these arm movements. Once again, making sure we're keeping our head 
up in line with our spine. We're not letting it hang down. If at any point you need a break again, option of plank on the knees is always there and you can still do the shoulder tapping. Five seconds left. Good work. All right, next up we're gonna do what I call slow motion swimming. On your stomach, we're gonna work the erector spiny muscles of the, going up and down your spinal column, arms out straight, opposite arm and leg lift and hold, switch and hold. Try turning so your thumb is pointing up to the ceiling. Up and hold, switch and hold. And once again, we're really engaging those lower abdominals pushing the pelvic bone towards the ground. So we're not arching as much in the lower back and we're really supporting that lower back. Now I want you to look down at your mat. Try not to crane your neck up. And the challenge would be not to let any hand or foot touch the ground, not rest in between those switches. All right, so that's our three exercises. For this circuit, we're gonna repeat one more time. So on your back, those star sit-ups. Let's go. Crunch and crunch. Keep looking up at the ceiling. That'll help keep your neck in line with your spine. Try to reduce any strain on the neck. Once again, the option here would be to bend arms and legs, but still do that crunch across the body. Good. Ten seconds left. Last two seconds. All right, well, let's get over into that plank. Stable plank with alternate shoulder taps. Ready? Let's go. Once again, I like to put my feet a little bit wider. Makes me a little bit more stable. Of course, if you've been doing this a while, it would be more challenging with feet closer together. And the challenge there is to not let your hips or shoulders turn side to side. If you're just trying this for the first time, keep those feet wider to keep you more stable when you go on to the three limbs instead of four. Again, reminder to keep your head up in line with the spine, but your gaze toward the ground. Good work. And last but not least, that slow motion swimming. Again, if you found that easy last time, the swimming, just don't let your feet or hands touch the ground. That's a lot of challenge. Let's go. Lift opposite leg and arm. Switch. Think about really reaching the thumb to the ceiling. Lift that arm and reach the foot to the opposite wall. So we're getting a lot of length in the spine here. Slow and controlled. Holding about one second each side. It's not big movements. That's a lot of effort. Posture. All right, take that break. Another child's pose. So hips back by the feet. Reach the arms out and you can just rest your forehead on the ground. Take a few deep breaths. We've got one more circuit coming up. So as you rest there, I'm going to show you the next exercise is what I call a reverse curl to lower leg lift. So, knees bent, we bring hips up towards the ribs, like so. 
using the muscles only. When we come down, we're gonna try to straighten the legs to about a 45 degree angle and come back in. It's very important when we straighten those legs that the back doesn't come up like this. Abdominals need to be in, legs like so. If you can't do that, then we just look the legs lower while bent. Ready? Let's go. So curl those abs up, straighten the legs. Curl and straighten. For those reverse curls, I really think about bringing the hips up towards the ribs. It's not a swinging or momentum movement. It's slow and controlled. Again, the option if you're finding these leg straighteners difficult is to just lower and touch the feet to the ground with the legs bent, like so. Always keeping that lower back pressed into the ground. Yes. Good work. Hug your knees for a second. We'll do side plank this time. One side this time, the other side the next time. We'll start with a static hold for about 20 seconds, and then we're gonna add on some movement. I'll cue you along, let's go. Pick a side, doesn't matter which one. Push this arm into the ground so you've got lots of space between shoulder and ear. Reach the other hand up to the ceiling. If that's tough, you can do it on your knee. All right, we've got about five more seconds here. Then we're all gonna come down onto the ground, bend our knees in, Lift up like a clam, come down. So pushing the bottom leg into the ground, lifting the top knee up and down. You really gotta squeeze in those glutes and squeeze in the side. Five seconds left on this side. Remember which side you've done. We'll do the other side next time around. Good work. Back onto our backs. No, we've got our back to do here. We have what I call a reverse plank, sorry. <laughs> so, hands on the ground. Squeeze the shoulders together. Legs straight and lift and hold. So really push the shoulders down, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift those hips up. If this is hard, you could do this with the legs bent, so like a reverse bridge. Really squeeze the glutes, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the chest up nice and high. Hold here another 15 seconds. Engage that core. Five seconds left. There we go. Shake out those wrists a little bit. And we're gonna go now to those reverse curls, lower leg lift. All right, so onto our backs, knees in. Let's go. Reverse curl, straighten those legs while keeping the belly button in so the back stays on the ground. Curl, straighten those legs at a 45 degree angle. If you feel you can hold it, you've been doing this a while and you can go lower to the ground you can give it a try, but as soon as your back comes up like this, you've gone too far. Curl, legs straight. Curl, legs straight. Again, the option is keeping those knees bent and just bringing the legs down and touching. Good work, hug those knees in. Now we're gonna do our side plank on the other side. So first option would be on the knee holding, second option is up with the knees, legs straight. Pushing this arm really into the ground, reaching high so that we're not sunk in the shoulder, we're pushing it away from our ear. Reach up, lift those hips up, about five more seconds static, then we're going to go to those clams, let's go down. Bend the legs and we lift up and down. So we push the bottom knee into the ground, lift the top knee up to the ceiling. Keeping the shoulder away from the ear, reaching high. 
We're almost there. Five seconds left. Good work. And last, but not least, those reverse planks. So, sitting, shoulders squeezed together. Hands on the ground with fingers towards the toes. And lift those hips. Make a nice long line. Now, I don't want to see anyone sunk like this. Really squeeze the shoulders together, push the chest up. And if you aren't able to do that with the legs straight, try it with the legs bent. It'll be easier. You could switch from one option to the other if you're giving it a try. We've got 15 seconds left here. Deep breath. Really push your arms into the ground. Lift that chest up. Keep your chin into your chest. Don't let your head fall back. Three, two, one. And that's it. So if, you've, if you're done for today, join me. I'm going to do a little cool down here. Uh, but if you're planning to do other videos, feel free to move on to those now. Or you could repeat that circuit for a 40-minute workout. <laughs> All right. If you're joining me for a cool down, let's all meet in child's pose, arms out straight, forehead near the ground, and this time let's walk the hands over to one side. Really feel that stretch down the side of the body. Walk the hands to the other side. If, you're, if they're apart and you don't feel the stretch, try walking that hand closer to the outside hand. Good. And let's walk back to the center. We'll come up on all fours. We're going to do a few cat and cow. So I want you to really. Push into the ground with the up with the arms and the shoulders. Round out through the entire body, belly button in, and then relax into neutral. If you know you're comfortable in your back with doing a little arch, go ahead. Otherwise, stay in neutral. And then push and round out the back. and come on back down to either neutral or a slight arch. And one more. Round up the upper back. Put lots of space between those shoulder blades and take a good inhale here. Expand the rib cage. And now relax, let that breath out into neutral or a slight arch. All right, we'll all join back in neutral. I want you to walk your hands back to your feet. Lift your hips up. Hang here for a second. Gently turn your head no. And then slowly roll up one vertebra at a time. Stack them. And then when you're at the top, I'll come back down here. One here at the top, take a few shoulder rolls. And then let's take three deep breaths to finish. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one. And that is it for your 20 minute core interval workout. So thank you so much everyone for joining me today. And thank yourself for showing up and doing this hard work. It will pay off. Um, if you like the video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up down below. If you're new here, hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And please feel free to leave any comments down below. I'd love to hear what you did, thought of this workout. Was it challenging? Do you need something more challenging? Uh, shorter? Longer? Let me know what you think. And with that, I wish you a good day, evening, or night and I will see you in the next video. 
Bye for now.